Hey guys, Predzel here. Welcome back to another video. In this video, we'll be talking about some more Godzilla figure news. The first thing that we have for today is that Bandai Tamashi Nations posted on Instagram the Godzilla vs. Kong poster saying that great things are coming. Or, you know, great things coming. But the possibility is that they are either teasing SH Monster Arts Godzilla figures, which I hope they are because I would really like an SH Monster Arts Kong, or they could just be talking about the trailer that is coming. Uh, so there's no really saying of what they're talking about here. Personally, I think they're talking about figures. Uh, and there's supposed to be three SH Monster Arts figures that are to be revealed. Uh, we have no idea what kind of figures are, these are going to be. Um, Godzilla related or Monster Hunter related. Personally, I think there's going to be two Godzilla related. Godzilla and Kong. Go Godzilla possibly being a reissued Godzilla 2019, but now calling it Godzilla 2021, maybe with more different accessories, uh, maybe something different with it, uh, and then the third one being some other Monster Hunter creature. Next we have is that we have new Funko Pop Godzilla vs. Kong figures revealed. Both of these look really cool. I like the way both of them look. Godzilla looks way more better than the previous Godzilla Funko Pop. Much more detail. Kong looks awesome. Uh, he's in a weird position, if I'm being honest. Uh, kind of like a superhero position, as most have been calling it. Um, also, I'd like to point out that <laughs> this this might just be for me but he kind of looks like wolfman for some reason uh he just doesn't look like kong if i'm being completely honest and i feel like this is the same thing like i had the same thought for the previous funko pop kong uh that came out for skull island so mm, i don't know looks just looks odd i think i still think it looks pretty cool but it's just, I don't know, I just get a Wolfman vibes off of it, off the of Kong. But out of that, we have no further information on the Funko Pops. I imagine we will have some more information soon. Uh, I do believe that these are supposed to release before the movie. So my guess is that they'll probably release around late February. And I would imagine that they're probably going to be around the price that the, uh, the usually like the taller figures are. I believe that this is going to be like the more taller ones. I don't think these are going to be like the uh, six inch ones. I think they're six inch anyways. Um, so I believe that those are like about 20 bucks, maybe more. So that might be the price of those. But I can't say for sure because I don't really buy Funko Pops. So... I don't really remember the prices for any of them. I only have two, and they're not Godzilla related. So, and I only bought them because, you know, why not? But, out of that, uh, we have new Godzilla vs. Kong promotional theater figures revealed. Uh, these are not confirmed to be Godzilla vs. Kong promotional theater figures. But it does seem that is the case, so that is pretty interesting. Next we have is we have our first look at the Bandai Movie Monster Series Gauss 1995 figure revealed. This looks pretty, pretty cool. Uh, this releases March 31st, 2021 and is about $21. Next we have, off of more Bandai Movie Monster Series, uh, we have our first look at the Bandai Movie Monster Series Legion figure. 
Uh, this one is probably my favorite out of the two, you know, the Gauss and the Legion. Uh, I really want a Legion figure. I believe Rebel Tech made a Legion figure like a while back. And uh, I would really like to have that figure because I Legion's one of my probably like top, at least top 50 favorite uh, monster villains. Maybe top 25. I really like Legion and I would really like to have a figure of it. Though a more articulated figure would be better than a Bandai Movie Monster series, but I don't know, maybe I'll pick this up. Uh, this releases late March, there's no exact date, but it is possible that it'll release March 31st as the other one is releasing March 31st. And the price is about $32. Next we have is we have our first official images of the Spiral Studios Burning Godzilla Deluxe Edition. This looks amazing. I really like the way this looks. I like the uh, the Mothra wings that are like implicating the uh, EMP. I think that's what you could call it. Or maybe it's not EMP. I think EMP is like electrical. Uh, or maybe it is EMP, I don't know. But either way, it looks pretty cool. We don't still don't have a good look at the full figure itself. Uh, we just have like back images of the figure, which you know is, is you know it's cool. Uh, we do have a front image, but it's in black and white. This is our first colored image of the Godzilla Burning Godzilla Deluxe. But uh, it'll be nice to see better looks and why are you touching stop touching stuff go lay down the both the deluxe and standard edition will be available for pre-order soon uh, there's no exact day when they'll be out available for pre-order but i will let you know when i do know next we have is we have new Omega Beast Series Awakened Shin Godzilla regular version statue revealed. This is about two feet and two inches tall, uh, which is pretty tall, but not the tallest statue that I'm going to be talking about for today. But this statue is about $950 and is available for pre order from the The Manson Game Room. And it releases quarter one of 2021. Next we have is the new, uh, I'm probably going to butcher this name, but Takumi Cho Studios Shin Godzilla statue revealed. This statue is about two inches in, or no, not two inches, two feet in 11 inches tall. And that is from head to toe, but is four feet and seven inches in inches tall, tail to feet, and that is my PS4. Um, where was I? I got distracted. Oh, the price is a whopping two thousand four hundred and thirty-eight dollars, and is available for pre-order until June. Or no, January 28th. And releases quarter two of 2021. Man, if I had money like that, I'd buy a bunch of stuff. <laughs> Lastly, we have new Hard Shell Studios. This is probably going to be the most interesting thing I cover for today. But Mechagodzilla Cosplay Pikachu statue revealed. Uh, this statue is almost about six inches tall. It has light up effects in the eyes and comes with a base. This is available now from the Favor GK website. Uh, that is because it is sold from a different company than the company who made it. So it's made by this one company, Hard Shell studios and then it is sold on a different company's website 
Uh, this is about $104 and releases quarter three of 2021. And that is unfortunately it for this video. Uh, nothing really too exciting in figure news uh, unless, you know, SH Monsters or, you know, Bandai Tamashii Nations is actually talking about SH Monsters Godzilla vs. Kong figures, which is exciting because I really really want a sh monster it's kong uh i wouldn't really be too excited about the godzilla if they do make a godzilla 2021 because it's the same exact design as 2019 so i would imagine it's probably going to be just a reissued 2019 and they might maybe give them a new box with 2021 on it or just say well they could say 2019 slash 2021 so kind of like that but I would imagine that they would make a new box for the figure uh, they might do something different with this figure maybe uh, more dry brushing kind of like a different paint job with it uh, I think a good paint job would probably be like the way it is but like with a, a light gray kind of uh, dry brushing uh, kind of like the NECA Godzilla 2019 but you know, try not to make it, like, look like it's each other. Or you could do, like, a kind of like a grayish brown. Because that's kind of what we see in uh, the images that we have, you know, on the... Uh, what's it called? The aircraft carrier with Godzilla and Kong. So it could kind of be, like, a daytime Godzilla figure. Where it's kind of like a brownish gray. Because uh, the figure that we have is... You know, I would say it's kind of like if it was in the nighttime, because it doesn't really have too much color on it. It's just like plain charcoal gray, or however kind of color that is. But that's just my thoughts. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time tomorrow for the trailer reaction. So excited! But you know, like I said, see you tomorrow, and. Uh, See you next time. Bye.